YouTube, it's Audrey, and I'm here to share with you my project for this week for the Cutting Cafe's design team. This week the theme could be fall or Halloween, and there were a few files that we could choose from. There was a mason jar card file, a shaker card file, or a few shaker card files that were fall or Halloween. And then the acorn shaped card. And I chose to use the acorn shaped card. Um, before I show you and give you a little bit of detail, just want to remember to tell you that make sure you stop over to the Cutting Cafe's blog on the 7th and the 21st of each month because that's when we do the design team post and you can see all of the projects. When you stop over, make sure you leave a card, a card, leave a comment when you do because you'll be eligible to win three free files from the Cutting Cafe on the next um, post when Regina pulls a name from those that left comments from the previous post. So, who wants to leave behind free files? So, <laughs> I wouldn't. Make sure you leave your name and hopefully you will be a winner. So, without further ado, here is my card. It is the acorn shaped card. And I cut it out of a brown cardstock and then I use pattern papers from, I believe this is a recollection stack from a couple years ago. And this um, orange pattern, I believe, is a My, My, My Mind's Eye 6x6 stack, but I'm not sure which one. It might be the spice one. Um, then I use some candy dots. Um, in orange and brown just to do some accents. I cut out a um, craft piece of cardstock and put a happy birthday rub on, on it. And then I added um, some acrylic leaves from the Target Dollar bin last fall. That's where those came from. So I inked the edges with um some chalk ink in brown and then on the inside it says to a corny kind of guy ha 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 <laughs> uh, had to make a play on the acorn so a corny kind of guy is for my uncle and if you know him he's always trying to be funny and sometimes he really is and sometimes it's just kind of corny so I thought this would be a great card for him. Um, again, since we were doing the fall theme and his birthday is, you know, coming up here in the fall, I thought this would be pretty good for him. Then the back, I just covered in the leaf and acorn, acorn paper and pine cones. As you can see, these tiny little things here our acorns to go with the shape of the card and then leaves so that is my project for this week very quick very simple if it is um if you rather do not have an electronic cutting machine like the cameo or a uh, Cricut Explorer or one of the other cutting machines that does files electronically, this file is very, very easy to cut out by hand. And all of Regina's files come in PDF version, so you can print it off and cut it out by hand. So just remember, just because you don't have a cutting machine does not mean that you cannot use these files. So anyway, make sure you check out the blog. Make sure you stop by my blog, SoGoodCrafter.com, and see some still shots. And we look forward to seeing you again after um, this post. The next one is on the 7th of November. So we look forward to having you make comments. And thank you so much for watching. And you have a great and very blessed day. Bye-bye.